Welcome to Deep Fried Honey. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make that baked macaroni and cheese that you've been asking for on Instagram for like two months. It's old school, so we start with a custard made of evaporated milk, egg, sour cream, heavy cream, sugar, and seasonings. Just whisk that all together. It's going to be what's poured over the top to get everything to kind of stick together and congeal. I've already shredded my cheeses in the food processor. I'm using Colby, Monterey, and sharp cheddar. Also Velveeta, of course, because, because. And you want to chop up your Velveeta into cubes as well as your butter. You're not going to shred this. Can you shred Velveeta? Probably. So after, well, while you're doing all of this, you want to make sure your noodles are boiling um, in salted water. Take them out when they're just past al dente. The more firm the noodle, the more it's going to absorb the sauce instead of just holding it. So make sure they're done. After they're done and you drain them, you're going to put the butter, the Velveeta, and some of the shredded cheese into your grease baking dish. Pour your noodles over the top. Start stirring them up. Let them melt. I like to do this in batches, you know, add just a bit of cheese at a time. That's my own personal thing. I don't have a reason why I do this. Um, this is a small batch of macaroni. If I was making a larger batch, I would layer my noodles and Velveeta and butter with my cheeses rather than mixing it all up. I do it more like a lasagna. So after you have it all evenly combined, pour your custard over the top. It's going to reach just the top of your macaroni and that's not really going to go higher and that's good. And then you want to cover it with the rest of your shredded cheese. I also like to top it off with some paprika and some paprika, paprika and some black pepper. And then I'm just filling in the gaps with a little bit of Monterey cheese. You know, toss this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes or until it's as brown on top as you want it to be. Let it sit for 10 minutes. It doesn't look like I did, but I did. Um, let it sit for 10 minutes at least and then dig in. And that's it. So all done. Now we have mac and cheese. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day today. Bye.